15 years, the privately owned Rustler has been in actively engaged in the field of surface preparation and surface finishing. The company has unveiled AM Solutions, which is a dedicated brand uh, to the additive manufacturing industry. Today, we are going to talk about what those AM Solutions do for the AM industry and uh, the kind of services it enables OEMs, machine manufacturers and end users to achieve through additive manufacturing solutions. So, Tobias, AM Solutions has unveiled several devices throughout the year. Could you explain how the new media type for post-processing of 3D printed thermal plastic parts work or can be used? Of course I can. So the thing is that we are coming out with Rustler of the media world. Yeah. So when we started our business, we developed different media ceramic based. Yeah. And also we still developing media to the needs of our customers because customers need solutions and not additional challenges. Yeah. And this is also why we decided to develop a special mix of media mm -hmm especially made for SLS, MJF and polymer powder but base parts okay. to reduce the roughness and to have some kind of a Pareto uh, example where you can use it for a bright range of right. different parts. Okay, so the company unveils three products today on the show. Right. What kind of challenges does each of these products ambitions to address? The thing is that every different additive technology has different advantages. Yeah. So, and that's why, for example, with the S1 Wet, mm -hmm. we are launching a product which is exactly dedicated for metal parts. So that means a wet blast solution yeah. for metal parts, which allows us to reduce the risk regarding explosion proof, mm -hmm. regarding um, difficulties for the operator. Mm -hmm. And in the same time, we can reduce the roughness of the 3D metal part within the same process. Mm -hmm. So this was the idea. Yeah, thank you. I've also realized that EM Solutions has partnered with various machine manufacturers, you know, throughout the year. I mean, since the, actually the company launched its uh, additive manufacturing brand, those machine manufacturers include, for instance, HP and recently Mimaki. So. Is there any specific focus in terms of uh, challenges uh, that you would like to address at the post-processing level? So, luckily, all technologies need post-processing. All right. And so, but in 2022, we will have a special focus, not only on our new products and the polymer parts, also to metal parts. All right. So we will look for the needs in metal, like with our S1 bed. Alright. Anything else that you would like to share for the audience? Of course, so thank you 3D Adapt team for visiting us at our Formlex booth. Please contact us for your post-processing needs on the www.solutions-4-am.com. Yeah. It was a pleasure. <laughs>